One, two, three, four, five. Okay, in this video, we're gonna go through five different libraries and we're gonna talk about some of the benefits of each one. Let's go. So the first one here is from True Assets, which is connected to Ambient CG. So all the materials are the textures where we download them from free on Ambient CG. It's kind of like all connected with into Blender. Now there's quite a few cool features with this one. So let me just grab one, plug it into there. Bam, we can see up here in the top, it's download somewhere. So it's actually downloading each material as we go. And obviously up here, we can change what resolution we want the texture at. So as we can see, very simple here, it's just texture based. However, we can change the shader type to be ambient CG standard, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And if we pick something else and it's just going to re-download the next one, we can see now that we can actually edit all the materials and so on and so forth quite easily. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of options. So if we get bark, we can obviously change all the roughness, ambient inclusion, blah, blah, blah. So that's really cool that each material is back, baked in. For me, I don't really care about this kind of stuff. I'm more interested in just texture base, especially because I go over to Unreal Engine. However, if you're going to be baking it, this makes life a lot easier. Now everything as well is categorized. So if we increase all that, you can see we've got a bunch of categories here on the left-hand side. Now I'm gonna bookmark each of these so, so you know which library we're talking about it when. Now this one here is 5,000 materials. This one here is nothing but texture. And whatever you see on the left is gonna be dumped over on the right-hand side. And we can see there's a pretty big list of materials. However, with this one is, everything has already been downloaded and is on your system. Now, if you're into PBR shaders, the polygony ones, which are very specific for, that's a bad example, which are very specific for external shaders, this is very heavily PBR based, as we can see. So even though I, you know, we throw grass on the top there, as I scale the object, the UV texture doesn't change. It actually keeps it the same. Um, cause these aren't really textured base. Oof, that looks kind of cool. That looks pretty cool. Um, and these are really great for those exterior shots as part of, you know, Botanica and what's the other one? Traffica add-ons as well. So they kind of gel in together, which is really nice. So here we've got the ability to change a whole bunch of settings. Uh, so if we actually bring up the Engon add-on, we've got all the adjustments in here in the actual app or the add-on where we're not really touching the uh, shader view. It's all just done in here. And now if we jump over to the next one, which is Extreme PBR Combo. This is the main one that I've been using. Um, this one is interesting. You've got the various levels you can. These are obviously pre-downloaded already as well. Add new, for instance. Uh, whoop, let me just remove the other one. And so this one as well, you can have it set up so that it is texture base, but also you can actually change it to use their Nexus system. And so now we've got a whole bunch of controls that we can change in here as well. So it all depends on how you wanna work. If you just wanna go flat textures or you wanna go down the route, Nexus does a really good job of giving you options between going each. But with Nexus, you do get to go deeper into more settings on texture-based materials. Now, last but not least, I'm just gonna pump one of my assets is using Dream UV. So. We bring in our panel and we select which is our Atlas object. From here, we select our object and go into Hotspot. And that's not gonna work because that stupid sphere. Let me just quickly delete that sphere. The problem is, is it can't UV unwrap it correctly. And so this doesn't really work with Engons. So let's go into Hotspot. Then we can kind of dump on one of these materials and you can see how the edge wear already exists. Is this ship here? So we built this on live stream and it's available to download on Patreon. Um, this is all using that Dream UV set. There'll be a link in the description for that. Um, you can buy them individually or just jump onto Patreon and just get them all. 